Hi, it's Lily here at Dogful Life. In this video, I want to highlight a topic that's really important to me, and that is muzzles. This topic is important for both people who have dogs and people who don't. Sadly, muzzles have a stigma in much of society. When most people see a dog wearing a muzzle, they think that the dog is bad, aggressive, or dangerous. Or they feel sorry for the dog and they think that making the dog wear a muzzle is cruel. But this couldn't be further from the truth. When I myself delved into the use of muzzles when we first got patches 10 years ago, I couldn't help but feel self-conscious and shameful about needing to use a muzzle. When I walked down the street with Patches wearing his muzzle, I could imagine other people thinking, ooh, she must have done something real bad to have to muzzle her dog. Or, why is she walking her dangerous dog in our neighborhood with children? <laughs> Anyways, the fact that Patches was wearing a muzzle should have shown that I was actually being a responsible dog mom. I was trying to keep my dog, as well as others around me, safe. Safety was my number one concern. And then my second concern was the social well-being of Patches. While I was going through behavior modification with Patches, I still wanted him to experience life outside of home, safely. I didn't want him to live in social isolation, and I didn't want to give up on him. After researching muzzles and getting more involved in the training world, I learned that muzzles are used for far more reasons than just dogs that showed aggression towards people or other dogs. In fact, every dog should learn to love wearing a properly fitted muzzle because there's a likelihood that they'll have to wear a muzzle at least once in their lifetime. And yes, that applies to even super friendly dogs. Every dog has the potential to bite, especially when they're feeling pain, frightened, or cornered. I mean, how many times have you heard this before? Oh, that came out of nowhere. He's never done that before. You don't want to add stress to an already stressful experience by making it also the first time that your dog wears a muzzle. It's much better to be prepared. Muzzles are a tool used to maintain the safety of both the dog and others around them. Muzzles should be properly fitted to allow the dog to pant with an open mouth, smell, eat, and drink. Muzzle training, which is training your dog to love wearing a muzzle, is a must for all dogs, and most of the time, muzzles are used alongside training of other behaviors. This is not an exhaustive list, but here are some situations where muzzles are typically used. At the groomer or vet, when they take the dog to the back, they may put a muzzle on the dog out of precaution for the safety of the staff, because a dog that's injured or is feeling pain is more likely to bite, even if there is no bite history. In this case, you would use muzzles along with cooperative care training, also known as animal husbandry. Muzzles are used in many behavior modification plans that work on reducing anxiety around certain triggers. Other than baby gates, parents can use muzzles as another safety measure to prevent dog bites around babies and children as they work on proactive socialization and behavior modification. Muzzles can be used to prevent dogs from eating things that are harmful for them, like rocks, sticks, or poop. And this is often used alongside training foundational behaviors like leave it or drop it. When going out in nature, whether on or off leash, a muzzle can help prevent a dog from killing another animal, which can provide peace of mind, especially for those that have dogs with high prey drive. Muzzles can be used for dog-dog play or introductions, especially for dogs that tend to play a little rough. Some dog parents use muzzles as a way to keep others at a distance to protect their bubble. This is similar to having their dog wear a vest that says in training or nervous dog. The last one I have listed here is breed-specific legislation, or BSL. While I don't agree at all with BSL because I think it's unfair, unfounded discrimination, we all still have to follow the law, and some BSL requires certain breeds to wear muzzles in public. Now as with any tool, there is a right way to use it, and then there is a wrong way to use it. Using an ill-fitting muzzle can be harmful for both the dog and for others. Using a muzzle is not a substitute for training and behavior modification. In fact, they should be used together. Never use the muzzle as punishment or as a way to stop a dog from barking. And leaving a muzzle on unsupervised for an extended period of time can be dangerous. So the next time you see a person walking down the street with a dog wearing a muzzle, try not to jump to any conclusions. They might just be practicing for their next vet visit. 
Instead, just smile, give them some space, or if there isn't enough room to give them space, ask them how they'd like you to proceed. Plus, it's always nice if you tell them how cute their dog is or how cool their muzzle looks. It would be a dream come true to one day see muzzles perceived the same way that dog goggles like Rex Specs are perceived, just as really cool safety equipment. I've included links in the description below with more information on muzzles, like how to properly fit a muzzle as well as muzzle training. I've also included links to the Muzzle Up project, which is working to educate and change the perception of muzzles, especially in social media, so check out the stories and posts on their Instagram page. Comment below and let me know what you think, and if you like this content, hit the thumbs up and subscribe button to get notifications of my next video. Mm -hmm.